good afternoon guys and welcome back to the channel it's Jaeger 262 in armored warfare playing some of that pvp gameplay of the m50 ontis i promised now we are on pipelines in well we're top tier but again it's just a t-shirt spread and this is a pretty good map for this kind of a vehicle and that's because just like everybody <laughs> who drives a tank destroyer or an amv knows the place you want to go on this map is going to be around c9 to get shots down the entire nine line of any vehicles coming through here through the refinery however it's not the most successful place to go and you want to position yourself and you'll see when i get up there to actually be able to fire across the entire field and so you can do both from this position but most players and myself included uh, once the game actually starts kind of tunnel vision just into the refinery and don't reposition themselves to actually shoot out to the field from like this position, this bush right here, gives you a pretty good coverage. So, just gonna stay here, use our 48% of camouflage to just kind of remain hidden. And hopefully we'll get some shots on some vehicles that are brave enough to wander into our sights. You will also see how inaccurate this vehicle can be at times, depending on what and how far away you're shooting at. Oh god, I hope this guy doesn't get up. Well, there's no team damage in this game, I don't think. It should be fine. Probably. Be fine. Yeah, he got right in front of me. Good job. Alright, so you're gonna reposition. I don't like it. It's not his fault. We need tunnel vision or you're just not aware. No, I can't hit that vehicle. It's a pipe. Gotta hit him. I'm over there. But... Yeah, I don't have to do nothing. I'll just sit there in my way. Thank you. Thank you for that. I don't have any shots in my I'm gonna have to relocate. I don't really see this going too well. Because if none of our guys spot, none of their guys move up, then. Well, that's not true. They have been spotting. I just had no shots. I mean, it's a pretty effective sniper, I think. There are two vehicles at our base. So I'm going to reload for four seconds and try to... Damn. Try to put shots on these guys. Because I really don't want them to cap. And at low tiers, cap still fair play. Like, I don't get why high tiers do it, but great. We're gonna lose. We're gonna lose. This is bad. I should be able to spot the base, but because of the sand doing that well. Let me see if I can find be further away but it should be higher I should be able to see over that God, I messed that up really bad. See how that one went way 
way wide because I didn't wait for it to end. He'll shred me if he finds me. But again, just gonna keep backing up. Identify target. Okay. Using my great camo. Stay in. Oh, wrong button. This thing can do quite a bit of damage, and its small profile and camouflage is absolutely incredible. He's going to blind fire me a bunch, but uh, hopefully my team has you know, figured out that this is kind of where they need to be playing. And I don't know why I can't spot the T62 right now. That is ridiculous because he's literally right there. Identify target. No hit. Identify target. Oh shit. Uh, I killed him, but he set me on fire. Ah, oh, jeez. I'll take three kills, but that could have gone way better for this vehicle. But as you can see, it is an effective ambusher. I mean, that T-62 is right in this... Oh, whoa, why did it... Okay, it was right in this position. I don't know if my cursor is going to actually show up, so I'll just show you here. It's literally less than 50 meters away from me. Uh, he was driving up. And his view range was just not good enough to spot me. So that 48% of camouflage and also that really small profile is incredible. And it's imperative that you play this vehicle like this. Um, well, it's not imperative, but you should do it to make the most out of that. It is just absolutely great. Uh, I'm going to follow this guy for a little bit to see what he does. But I doubt he'll win. I know he's in an AMX-30, so... A great tank at this tier. He might be able to pull it off. I don't know why he didn't switch to the auto cannon, but that's going to be a 3 0 loss for us. Not terrible, not the worst <laughs> situation, but let's see how we did. Got a lot of medals, I suppose. I uh, did 74,000 credits, got 1,500 experience, 3,200 damage. Puts a second place only to the AMX 30. Well done to this guy. Absolutely amazing. 6,000 damage, 4 kills. It's a great game. Great game for him. Now, let's see. The guy I killed, yeah, he didn't do a lot. The T62 bet did quite a bit. Just couldn't couldn't find me. But all in all, I think that's pretty standard for this vehicle. It's the first game I've ever played PvP, but I still love it. So let's get into the next one. All right, we're on Roughneck again, top tier, and this is a great map to be on in an Antos for obvious reasons. I'm going to play around the. B5 line. Uh, that's a pretty aggressive position for a tank destroyer. But as you saw, you know, this 48% camo is incredible, even when there's no coverage. Like I was just on, um, you know, the, the city map or an urban map in general with no cover and just moving backwards, I was able to avoid being detected. It's pretty great. 
So always, always, always make use of that playing this vehicle. If you do play it. Alright, I get into position. I don't know why my view range seems so short. I mean, I get the 400 meters moving, so I should get more stationary, maybe. But either way, I mean, I should be able to spot all of that that I can't even really spot. Just at the very edge of the gate line. I don't know, I like this thing. Factors are a little hard to get used to because you guys gotta wait to aim it. Not too bad. Black fire, did you hit him? No. I did hit his tracks though. So that's fun. So look at it, look how small it is. I just love I love this model. I love this vehicle. Pretty good start to the game. I really wish one of our MDTs would go in spot, but I doubt I'd have shots on those guys anyway because of the ridge. And, um, is he pinging me? What am I going to do? I'm not going to spot. I'm a tank destroyer. <laughs> like, what does he want from me? Uh, oh, he wants me to spot for him. That's him right there, right? No, it's not him. Where is he? What does he want? He's all the way back there. What's he doing? Um, Alright, looks like we're losing that flank, so I'm gonna go back to base. I don't know if remember in PvP, which I've done, I did the last game, or I did today. Anytime you see somebody lose a flank, even if you are just in a support vehicle like a tank destroyer, return to base. Even if you've won your flank, and at this stage, it's an even game, so you could still push your flank. But unless you have the intention of tapping and tapping fast with other players, always return to base. It doesn't hurt to just keep some guns on the base and pressure the enemy team that way. One shot in. No effect. No effect. T62M has an incredible armor. Another one. He spotted us. And we take him out. Oh, wow. That's a bullshit hit. Uh, I don't know how that Enigma hit us, but. Not a problem. I'm really not sure how he hit us. That doesn't really make any sense. Okay, now we are losing. We're gonna lose this flank. So I don't know what they're doing. That's what I mean. Always be conscious of where your recoilless rifles are pointed, uh, even in this wonky setup, just because you'll waste shells. Alright, let's see if I 
That is a kill. truck is actually pretty great cover. I can't see through it, but uh, at least it's solid. Right? Now we turn the tide in winning, which is always, always, always good. There's two tank destroyers right here. Well, uh, oh man. That sucks. I don't know how none of my missile, how none of my recoilless rifles fired, but. Oh, that was a misplay on my part. I was not paying attention like I should have. But uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, on the bottom tier of this game, and we're on the brand new Moscow map. It's a rather large urban map, brand new for the new season. And I haven't really been on it yet. I'm super excited to have it in the game because there's not a lot of big maps for PvE, PvP at tier 10. So I usually stick to glops, so I was really excited to see this in the game. But because I've never played it before, because I'm at such a low tier, I don't really know how it will go, but I'm pushing towards the G and H line, if I can just not hit things, to play this open field. And hopefully, I will have enough camo factor to stay hidden. Following these MVPs up the road. This is a nice map. I guess he's doing a mission, because I don't know why he would sue a scout like that. Looks like all the fighting is going to happen like on the G line diagonal all the way up to E. It's that huge avenue in the middle of the map. Okay, here we go. targets. I don't know if I'll be able to He's moving too fast. So I'm going to back up behind cover. They got our octos. So, our IS-7 can be up that would be. These targets aren't staying spotted long enough.
Earthquake and Depression is enough to play a big safe way. Just a little bit. Identify target. Hostile truck. Okay, I spotted somebody. They can spot me from wherever they're positioned at, so. We're winning. At least we're winning one point. This is not a game where a loss gonna happen to me, because somehow they are out spotting me. This map for tank destroyers. This is pretty bad. Identify target. Hostile tank. Yeah, there's not going to be really anything I can do from any of these positions until that whole side is lit up. Hostile target marked. I feel like we're gonna rush so I go left it from the side. They're getting spotted. So. Hopefully. Alright, so not a great game. Um, yeah, this vehicle doesn't perform well in urban settings for obvious reasons, although I think that part was more just me not knowing the map or where to position myself. But still came away with 49 credits. 49,000 credits did pretty bad overall. Um, got two kills. Really? Oh yeah, yeah, okay. True self, uh... 1700 credits, er, not credits, um, experience. All in all, oh, what the, I don't know why that's there. There we go. Here's the Antos. Uh, overall, I think final verdict just for PvP, I really do love this vehicle. It is a devastating tank destroyer. Like I was saying in my review yesterday, the accuracy isn't too bad, and neither is the reload time if you just be patient. It's just going to make you, it's just you're going to require more time to do simple things like aim in and choose your shots a little bit more careful. But other than that, all around a great vehicle. As far as a tank destroyer goes or just a tier 4 vehicle goes, I think it's an easy 7 or 8 out of 10. I mean, it's one of the best vehicles. Absolutely amazing. Armored Warfare delivered, and I'm just really happy to have this vehicle. Anyway, that's going to be it for this video, just the three games. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and want to see more 
gameplay videos of Armored Warfare or of any of the other reward vehicles should I get them. Subscribe to the channel if you want to get notified whenever I upload another Armored Warfare video. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.